What's up guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to Moonlighter with the Between Dimensions expansion included. Anyway, uh, this is one of those games that uh, I'll almost always end up coming back to whenever the mood strikes me. Uh, I probably won't play this for a very long time, but I figured I'll record some of what I play. Um, yeah, if you don't know what this game is, it's a uh, top-down pixel art uh, action-adventure style roguelite game wherein uh, in addition to going through dungeons defeating monsters collecting resources uh, you will also operate and run a shop where you sell all the random stuff that you end up getting um, so uh, yeah anyway let's uh, let's do this new game hard difficulty let's go yeah really uh, I really like this one and every uh, every you know year or so I, I get the itch to uh, to play it again. It's pretty, uh, pretty good, I must say. I don't know how much I'm gonna really go through all the story and everything, but, uh, we'll at least go through it for this first little bit. The music in the game is also very good. The uh, developers behind this game, uh, they actually put out a game recently that has been getting all sorts of coverage by a lot of different uh, YouTubers and Twitch and stuff like that. It's uh, called Cataclysmo, I believe. It's a uh, horde survival base building fortress thing. But uh, yeah, it's actually made by the same developers that made this, uh, it, which is, I guess you consider a departure from uh, their comfort zones as developers, but uh, yeah, people have been really loving it. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see a sequel to this, to be honest. I just really enjoy the, the whole combination that they have of uh, dungeon delving, shop management. It's not anything super crazy or anything. Left stick to move, L2 to dodge, Square and X for attacks. We can't do those just yet. Let's just get through this. Jump these little crevasses. Jump past this guy. Come over here and dodge the uh, attacks. Let's uh, press X to do an attack here. Square is your special attack. With your spear, it's this little charging attack here. Which is pretty good. None of this in the beginning really matters. Uh, we're going to end up losing here shortly. Let's just take all this. L1 to grab everything from a chest. There's some there's some pretty cool mechanics with uh, grabbing stuff out of chests and potential items and stuff like that. Uh, that uh, we'll get into a little bit later. Unfortunately, this is one of those fights where you are meant to lose, so let's not uh, belabor the point here. Oh no, all of our stuff, even though I didn't have all that stuff, but all my stuff, it's gone. Well, while we're waiting for the uh, story to do story things, hey, make sure you hit the like button, comment and all that stuff. I'm very curious to see how many people... I watch my channel have actually played this game before. Uh, so, yeah. Yep, thank you, Zenon. You've uh, helped me yet again. So, in this story, we follow uh, Will, I believe his name is. And, uh, yeah, his whole little exploits to conquer the dungeons, so to speak. It's not going to take too long for us to get through this whole little opening section, but we obviously still have our little tutorial to get through here. Should only take a few more minutes. Yes, yes. We got our ass kicked in the dungeon. Thank you. Yep, we're the only ones left. Our parents are dead. And our goal is to conquer the dungeons, all five of them. The uh, the main point is is that you have to beat four dungeons, which will 
each give you a key, which you then need to uh, use to unlock the last dungeon. We just got uh, Zenon's old sword and shield. So we can hopefully make some progress with that. I'm hoping we can get lucky here in the first dungeon and get a, uh, a weapon without having to, uh, you know, spend it or anything like that. Alright, successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. Yes. Value and demand. Yes. This will all make sense shortly. So we open the shop. Somebody comes over and they look at it. A little happy face means that they're they like the price, which is good. Good, good, good. And the next person's gonna be like, why is this so expensive? I'm out of here, you jerk. Yeah, they don't like that price. sell too much stuff, the supply and demand goes all wacky, and bad stuff happens and stuff. Alright. So there's two, uh... There's, basically, there's a couple things you need to consider when it comes to selling stuff. It's, uh... Not too difficult to pick up on. So we made mention of a pendant. There's a uh, thing we can utilize to exit dungeons whenever we want, but it does cost money to do. So, now that that's all said and done, let's go to the dungeon. I don't think this will count as like a full-fledged run. I think there's some stuff we need to do first. But, uh, anyway. Let us embark. All right, bottom left-hand corner, you can see the map. You can also bring it up with the touchpad. Triangle opens your inventory. So, well, I can't open it right now because they don't want me to. But uh... okay, yeah. So we're not even in a real run yet. Gotta hit in. What a jerk. Grab this. Go talk to the skeleton. open the fifth door you got it also got some random stuff very nice all right so now we can exit out of here it does cost 200 gold so we are left with 100 let's go back to town pretty easy so far. Yep, we found old Pete. Super dead. Yep. 
make the town prosperous again, and so on and so forth. Open our shop, do shop-based things. You got it. Now we can check out our investments. You can invest in your shop. You can invest in new people to come to the town and do things, which is very nice. Go ahead and change these. I know some of the prices, because there are perfect prices that you can set up. Um, I'm going to have to try and remember some of them, but uh, anyway, like I think this is, oh, what is this, like 300? 330, I think, something like that. Uh, white stone, 110, possibly 270 something. Maybe 275? I'll look up some of these prices a little bit later, just to uh, get them out of the way. Uh, the roots, the vines, the teeth stones, uh, I'm not going to sell those. Same thing with the rich jelly, I'm not going to sell those. Um, the hardened steel, what was that, 200 and I think it was also like 275. We'll find out if those are the right prices here eventually. Still nighttime, so we gotta go to sleep. Alright. Yes, yes. Okay. Let's deposit some of these things. You do need some of these materials for uh, upgrading weapons, creating weapons, stuff like that. Okay, so you can take a look at uh, some of your items and whatnot, and you can figure out how much they're actually worth and all that. All kind of depends. So yeah, either way, let's uh, open the shop, try to sell some of this stuff. Undoubtedly, I got some of the prices wrong, and they'll let us know via their little interactions and whatnot. Ah, that's way too much. Okay. So then this is probably gonna be 275. Yep, he liked that. Yep, that was the right price for that. You'll kind of figure out patterns for some of the uh, items and whatnot. 275, 330. Uh, some of the cheaper things are like 3 and 4. Some, a lot of things are 110. Yeah, so that's the right price for that. 275. But uh, yeah, all the items in the various dungeons have their own little prices that they, uh, they try to go for. But yeah, this is pretty much typically how it's going to go. You're going to figure out the pricing on things, and uh, yeah, you're going to go from there. Uh, I want to say iron bars are 65, potentially. Let's take this one back for now. The whetstones, you know, I'm going to hold on to the whetstones, actually. Uh, these guys, I want to say 110. I want to say it's 110 for those. We'll see. Oh, angry at that price. Okay. So, that price is a no. So, I'm actually just going to take those back. Because uh, I don't want to sell anything that's too low, because it's not really worth the, the time for it. A lot of those little items you need for uh, crafting things and stuff anyway, so... Let's just go ahead and drop these back off. And I think that's going to do it for the shopping for the day, considering I don't have anything else. We will close our shop. Not too bad. So, 2,915. Not a whole lot, but that's fine. Now let's go on what should be our first little dungeon run here. Sometimes you can hit trees and they'll have coins. I think there's actually a trophy for that. Not like you get a whole lot out of it. Yeah, see. 
Look at that, we got all of two coins. Let's go. Okay, but anyway, we have 3,000 gold. Let's go ahead and get some things here. Let's get the little witch's hut. That way we can get potions and whatnot. Right now we have five small potions. But we're definitely going to need a lot more of those as we progress. Next, let's get the forge. This is for creating new weaponry and armor. Along with upgrading your weapons and armor. The way that you create new weapons and armor is you gather supplies from the various dungeons and spend gold to acquire them. Yes, thank you, Andre. Uh, I should probably get some better armor first off. Yeah, for this we need a few more components and whatnot. We already have some of the supplies necessary. You can see it in the bottom right hand corner what we need. Uh, I could also just get a new weapon. The training spear I'm pretty sure we can get in the golem dungeon. That's the first dungeon that we went into by the way. Uh, I do like the, the, uh, the, the gloves, the fist weapons. Those are pretty good. But uh, anyway, we'll use what we've got which in this case is a broom and our sword and shield. The broom is not good. <laughs> Gotta say. It does give you a minor speed boost, I believe, though. Which, it's not terribly useful. The amount of damage that it does is paltry in comparison to the other weaponry. Okay, this is our first real run. Let's do this. Breaking pots and stuff can give you items on occasion, so you gotta be careful about that. I welcome fights with slimes. We're gonna need them in order to uh, upgrade stuff. Try not to be too greedy with your attacks and stuff. You can get uh, overwhelmed quickly if you're not careful. Okay, so... These items that have these little uh, red slash pink uh, icons on them will have uh, specific things that you need to adhere to in order to collect them. They could be that they need to line up on the left side of the bag, the right side of the bag, the bottom of the bag. They could delete things or transform things. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, you got to be careful about some of the things. Okay, so this is a healing spring, uh, which means... Uh, this room connected to this one's gonna have the boss in it. Kind of a mini boss. I'm not too worried about this fight. I've done it many times. So when you see a door like this that has all the slime coming out of it, that's gonna lead to the second floor of the dungeon. I don't wanna do that just yet. Uh, I wanna finish off this floor. So, let's do that. Alright, is that everything? No. Still one more entrance to the right-hand side where we first came into the dungeon. We haven't gotten a whole lot here. So, I might... I might go to the second floor, depending. We'll see. Ah, you see that green stuff that was over there for a bit? Wow. It was in the, uh, in the pit there. Uh, it should show up if I do this. Yeah, see that over here to the left? That means if I jump in here, uh, there's going to be something in the pit, which could be an entrance to a different dungeon. It could be a lot of stuff. Stuff. Now we can 
kill you. Okay, so this one, uh, let's see, destroys an artifact in your uh, in this direction to, upon returning to town. So that's something you want to be careful about. Uh, these ones are all destroying. So you want to actually uh, you want to actually put these in a place that doesn't conflict with other things. Thankfully, we have a good amount of space to allow that. There we go. And we don't have a whole lot of room in our backpack, unfortunately. This could be a dangerous room. Good, good, good. All right, we found this room. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. So this is just a diary left from, uh, I believe this is from Old Pete, which was the, the body we found when we first started going out. I think there's a trophy for uh, going to all of uh, these areas and finding all of the, the various diaries and whatnot. I don't think there's anything else to do here. So, yeah. Our inventory's pretty much full. I'm thinking we just head back. Easy peasy. Defeated 29 enemies and got two chests. Very good. Very good. So, let's uh, drop off the stuff that I'm going to keep first. Uh, I guess I should keep the fabric, too. I think there's some stuff that needed that. Uh, what else? What else? The empowering crystals, I'll keep those. Uh, you know what? Let's take a look at the equipment out at the forge real quick. Just to see if there was anything I wanted to make. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Big sword. I don't think I've ever actually really used the big swords. A spear would be nice. Same with the gloves. The bow is a nice backup weapon, of course. And for that, I need uh, one of those like little rocks or whatever they're called, foundry or something. Foundry stones, rock stones. Either way, we haven't gotten any of those things, so it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Let's drop that off. I'll actually keep these. <coughs> Excuse me. Iron bars. We could drop those off. Water lamp, golem cores, hardened steel, wet stones, golem cores. Okay. Now, stuff you've already placed down, the prices will remain. So, that can make certain things easier. Alright. I think golem cores are 110. Same with glass lenses. Water lamps, I think, are 275. Either way. We'll find out. <coughs> As you upgrade your shop, uh, which I think we need 8,000 for our first upgrade, so that's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit until we get that. Especially considering I'm not selling everything that I've got, I'm keeping a fair amount of things. Pretty much only selling the stuff that's 110 and up. Okay, water lamp. So water lamp 330? Possibly? We'll see. 
yeah, it's got a pretty simple, pretty satisfying gameplay loop. I like this game. This is a very, very fun game. Okay, with glass lenses... 275, possibly? We'll see. Either that or it's 110, I don't know. We shall see. Nope, didn't like that, okay. So those are probably also 275. Oh no, he didn't like that price at all. Okay, so let's uh, go down to 110 for those. And the only reason I even know any of these prices is just because I've played this game before. Other, uh, otherwise, you're just going to have to experiment with uh, how you set up your prices and whatnot. Or just look it up. I mean, whatever. It's a single-player game. Who cares? Just look up the prices. Yeah, they both love that. Alright, that's it. We're done. Get out of here. Get out of my shop. I'm all out of items to sell. 5,555. It's not too bad. All right. Uh, let's do one more run into the dungeon. Grab some stuff. I'm surprised I haven't gotten any of uh, any of those little rock materials I was talking about before. find one, I can go to a wandering dungeon. Grab these random things. This is a timed dungeon. We made it. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Oh yeah, I didn't explain. Uh, if you've got stuff up here on the top, uh, if you die, you won't lose this stuff, but anything in your backpack, you will lose. So your expensive stuff, you want to keep up on the top, if possible. to do with you, sir. Let's deal with this guy first. Ow. Haven't even used a potion yet. You can fall in the holes and take damage. I believe you take five damage. If, uh, if the hole doesn't lead to a path that uh, won't hurt you anyway. very much. Traveled all that way to break that pot. Nothing in the pot. Fine. So be it. stuff. They can be a little annoying. Ow. Use a potion. Cool. Not too much there. Actually wouldn't be against moving some of this stuff around. Uh, yeah, we'll take those. 
Yeah, that's probably fine. We didn't get any of the other things I wanted. Not yet, anyway. Okay, this leads to the boss. We can heal. Jump in the water. Get a little bit of healing. It doesn't last forever. anything that I wanted, huh? Alright. Uh, we still got a few more rooms to go to. We can heal up a little bit more. I don't know how much healing this thing has. Maybe like 50 HP worth? I don't know. Oh, hey. We can go this way. So this is a wandering dungeon. I believe this was something that was brought in via the Between Dimensions DLC. So you'll find uh, enemies and stuff from uh, areas that uh, you might not have uh, access to yet. So we'll have to be careful about that. This guy can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. whole lot more space so we'll see about that this little flame guy I'm pretty sure you have to jump through them while they dash at you took me a little while to figure out how to fight them originally okay what do we have here this uh, it will destroy it when it's placed so let's be very careful about that. This will send an artifact to town. So we can actually... Uh, you know what, let's wait on that for a second. This will destroy them upon returning. So we can put this like here. Uh, this one we can put here. These ones, uh, they will break if... Uh, if you take too much damage while carrying it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and put that there and return it to town. Oh, or not. Oh, I guess it took the enchantment away from it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this... We'll do that. All oh, right, this is the one that uh, sends it to town. That's what it was. Okay. So if that's the case, let's send oh, this to town and we'll take that and I don't really care if I leave these to be honest uh, just, just double check that I can't stack them no. and you know what we're full so we're gonna leave no sense exploring more if I can't even collect the items that I'm getting these ones are a little bit more expensive like these uh golem designs and stuff like that. They, they might be like 500 for the costs. Either way, let's deposit the stuff that we're not going to want to get rid of. Drop those off, drop those off, drop those off. Uh, I think I was holding on to those for stuff for now. Stones. All right. That should be fine. So let's drop some of this stuff off. Okay, cool. Right, well, anyway, as far as the first episode's concerned, that is going to do it. Make sure you like the video if you liked the video, and uh, so on and so forth. I will see you all in the next one. Uh, but anyway, uh, you guys all take care. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye bye.